hey y'all, this is Molly K. I just want to come and um, just share my thoughts about the um, Kyle Rittenhouse verdict. Uh, if you haven't already heard, um, he's been found not guilty or basically acquitted of all um, charges. Uh, it's not like we didn't expect this. So, you know, the judge was letting us know what time it was, white supremacy was flexing. And it did what it was supposed to do. So, like, we're not surprised at the verdict. But the message that um, is being sent is what is important. And that's, what, you know, what I want to talk about briefly. So, um, you know, it's a couple of messages that have been sent. I'm sure if you live in a red state like me um, in Florida, um, a lot of the... Um, laws have been changed to encourage people to harass us when we protest. So now it's legal to take your car and run over protesters. And, um, you know, white people selectively use this when they want to deter us from expressing our um, thoughts and views on what's happening as far as injustices are concerned. So... In addition to that, now white men and boys can go to um, protests and rallies or whatever, just show up with guns and shoot us. And the message that was sent was, it's okay, nothing is going to happen to you, because that was the message that was intended. Um, and the message is for us, and the message is, you know, is for uh, white supremacists everywhere. And it sets the tone for states. Um, for judges and juries in states to do the same thing. So, you know, I'm, I'm almost 50. I've never served on a jury of any sort, and, and I vote regularly. So, you know, it's just a whole lot of things that's playing into this. You know, you think about the jury was mostly white. That's nothing new. Most times where there are cases like this is, the judge is white, the jury is white, the prosecutor is white, the defense attorney is white, and maybe if the, even if the defense attorney is black, representing a black um, defendant, the whole system itself is white. So, you know, we're always fighting this uphill battle with white supremacy, and, um, you know, they know it. Like, they know what they are doing. So this is not by accident. This is intentional. The message that's been sent is that if white people, good white people who are allies, if they help us, they can be gunned down and they're not going to be seen as victims and they shouldn't have been nigger lovers. That's basically um, the message that was sent for white people. And if you go out and say whatever, you're going to help protect businesses, even if the businesses didn't help you, um, didn't ask you to come, you can go out and shoot and kill people with long guns, and it's okay. Nothing's going to happen to you. Um, we, the system is going to protect you. Um, you can go to protests that are on behalf of Black victims of injustice, and you can kill people if you're white regardless of what color they are, and it's going to be considered self-defense. You can leave your county, cross state lines, go kill people, and still be seen as innocent. You can be a black person and do all of this, and you go into jail if you even live, because police probably would have killed you if you had been somebody black doing what um, Kyle Rittenhouse, you know, done. Your mother, if you're a minor and you're white, can help you commit crimes and cover them up, buy illegal weapons, and help you, you know, violate the terms of your bail, and nothing happens to you. You can be a bad white parent, and people will give you money to continue being a bad white parent. And nothing happens to you. The child welfare system doesn't come to your house. They don't take your kids. They don't investigate. Nothing. There are so many messages that have been sent by this verdict, by this entire case, that, you know, they are loud. They are clear. And if you are black and not paying attention, you are a fool. 
you better get your lives together and stay focused. You can be entertained by the little infrastructure bill or whatever, but the real messages are being sent in the states. Don't pay attention to what's happening in Washington, D.C. Pay attention to what is happening in the states because the states are feeding off of each other. What's happening in Texas is happening in Florida. What's happening in Florida is happening in Texas. It, you know, what's going on in Oklahoma is happening in Washington State. What's going on in New York City is going on in Connecticut, um, in Atlanta, in North Carolina. So what is happening nationally is there is a state by state alignment with white supremacy and more states that not have Republican legislatures that are engaging in, um, you know, placing these people in positions to uphold this system. So the system is not getting ready to go any place. Um, you know, so you, you know, as far as I'm concerned, I'm not in, I'm not interested in sustaining nothing. Anybody that's talking about voting to save something, say what? Save it for what? Let it fall. You know, it's not helping us anyway. So what's, what's the point of, you know, talking about saving something. There's, it's not anything but saving for somebody who's black. So, um, you know, the message has been sent. And so black people, y'all need to be careful. We, we have to be careful. And when you're out, you need to be careful. Um, how you um, object to how this government treats us, we need to be careful because, um, you know, they are ready for us. They are ready for us to go into the street and, and set shit on fire. They, they're going to do stuff to us. Um, even if you're not doing anything but walking down the street with signs, you know, police now have um, weapons that can um, immobilize us so that we uh, render helpless um, without even touching us. They have all types of technology that they have been testing out in other countries. Y'all better read about what is going on. They have been practicing. They are ready. This is not by accident. And this is not a drill. It is for real. So, um, you know, I'm going to put some links in the, um, you know, description section. Please take a look at them. Be careful is what I'm going to say. Have smoke for the right people. We don't have time to be arguing and nitpicking about one word or slogan or what. Our enemy is white supremacy. Our enemy is the system. It is not our people. I don't have time to argue with black people about nonsense. If we're not going to be on one accord fighting white supremacy, don't, don't even debate it. The fight is with white supremacy. The fight is with the system. And it's not just national, it's global. So people are watching, but nobody's going to do anything to protect us. Nobody has done anything in 400 years. So I don't know why black people sit around waiting on this person and that person to do something. Nobody going to save us. Nobody coming to do nothing for us. So we need to get on one accord and figure this thing out and figure out how to address um, white supremacy because that is our problem. But you see, the system is that. And they're worried because, hey, we're paying attention. This is not business as usual. Um, we have to get on coal. We have to recognize who the enemy is, who the enemies are. That is not us. We are not our. So I'm going to take that back. Some of us are enemies. Like everybody, just because they have black skin doesn't mean they, they are for us. And so, you know, in, in our process of figuring things out, we also have to figure out who is for us and who is against us and leave those black people that are not for us to the side. We just don't have time to deal with that. Let them deal with white supremacy when when it comes knocking on their door because everybody's getting their, their, their wake up call. And unfortunately, a lot of black people are getting ready to get some wake up calls. If you don't have home defense, I suggest you get some. If you don't know how to shoot, I suggest you go learn how. Um, weapons are really hard to come by now. Most guns 
stores can't even keep them in stock. And bullets, same thing. Like there's a back order on um, on ammo. So, you know, if you haven't been paying attention for the last three, four years, like white people have been getting that stuff together. They've been really doing it since Obama was um, elected in 2008. But over the last five, six years, they've been preparing. So now it's a run on everything. And like most times, black people are always late to the party because they don't pay attention to what their enemies are doing. They're so busy looking at what, you know, the Democratic Party is telling you we should pay attention to. No, you pay attention to the people who don't like you because they're plotting against us. And so we have to prepare our houses, get some home protection, um, learn how to use it, have a plan for what if you need to be strategically planning for, you know, what happens if you live in a black neighborhood, you know, if you live in a, a mixed neighborhood, if you live in an all-white neighborhood, you need to be playing. Everybody needs to have a plan if you are black because we don't know, you know, who is going to decide, you know, that it's, now is the time for them to do harm to us because you don't know who doesn't like us. And you also need to be aware of your surroundings. If you're standing in the post office, you know, people, I, I've had experiences where, um, white men have like really been impatient standing in the store, they huffing and blowing and I turn around like, you know, oh, what the fuck's your problem? And then they get right. But if you're walking around not paying attention, you're on your phone, you are um, acting meek and mild and like you ain't gonna do nothing, they don't try us. Women, they're gonna try us. Um, you know, you're gonna have your kids gonna experience stuff at school because guess what, Kyle? House has been portrayed as a young white boy. White boys gonna be trying your sons at school. White white girls are gonna be trying your daughters at school. White teachers are gonna be mistreating your kids at school um, who are racist. So you know now it's time to have talks with your family. Now it's time to have talks with your children. Now it's the time to prepare your houses, and you know just be cognizant. We can't do what we used to do, like being, um, a, we can do nonviolent protests or whatever, but they don't work. You know, we, we let the people know that we are upset, but we're going to have to do new things and develop new ways to protest America because now we got militarized police who have um, military weapons to do harm to us, even if we're protesting peacefully. We have, um, white supremacist police. We've always had them, but now, you know, there's nobody we in the mouth. The president not going to do anything. So what's the recourse? You got a racist, prejudiced um, criminal justice system. What are you going to do about it? Like, there's nothing that, um, you, we don't really have much recourse when it comes to the traditional means of protesting that we had and so we have to figure out how to do things differently so i'm going to be talking i'm going to, I'm going to meditate on that this weekend and monday i want to have my thoughts together so I, that i can talk to you about it um and, and have some solutions but what i want to tell you is be careful don't don't be out here in the street wild just it's not worth it um there are other ways to skin a cat and so we're going to have to figure out those ways. But hey, don't be in the street letting them run over you. They, they want to run over us. They, they didn't get nothing but glee from and joy from running over us. Don't be out in a position where they can shoot us. Because they, they, they got their guns. They want to kill. They're weak. They, they can't do anything to you one-on-one. -on -one, and they don't want to do anything to us, um, you know, hand combat. Because... They chickens, they need guns, so they're going to use their guns, and they have a license to now. So don't put yourself in any um, unnecessary positions. Don't, um, also, but don't cower. Uh, don't cower to anybody. I'm not telling black people to walk around and turn up cheek. Hell no, don't turn no cheeks. When they get far, get up. Uh, we need to set up systems so that you know, we have money to help our people when, when they protect themselves. It's something that we don't have. Um, so.
So I'm going to be talking about some things that we can do. Um, I'm going to write down my thoughts Monday and share them with you. But I just want to let you all know that there is a new day and we can be doing business as usual. White people today got a license to kill, basically. Um, and it is a sign to all white supremacists. This was a white supremacist trial. Calvin House is a black supremacist. He's not just no little boy. Him and his mom and his pappy is a little bit racist. So understand this is code. Now, I talk about code a lot. White supremacy has codes. They don't say exactly what they're trying to say, but we as black people, you in tune with your ancestors and your elders, you know what this means. So be careful, be mindful, be thoughtful about what you say, get your house in order, and talk to your family, you know, talk to these young boys out here who are out here in the street being reckless, and do this is not the time for that, this is the time for us to get on one accord, be about our business, protect our communities, don't let anybody come in our communities that don't belong, and defend ourselves because we're getting ready to be challenged and um, we don't really have any protection. So you can see no, their system is not going to protect us. So if the system is not going to protect us, you're responsible for protecting yourself. And that's the mindset that black people need to have. It's like you need to be mindful that you don't have any defense except for the defense you plan for yourself. So plan your defense. Be prepared, get your house in order, get ready. You're saying it for a couple of years, but they keep giving us signs, and I see people not really taking it seriously. Be prepared, because it's a new day. So, thanks for watching. Be careful. Um, I can't stress enough. You know, I'm, I'm, I knew it was happening, but I'm still disappointed. And I'm just more concerned, especially for black men, because y'all are just, like, hunted by everybody all the time. So black men, black boys, please be careful. I love y'all. Um, you know, we in this together. Um, team B1, you know, till the end. But we have got to be smarter about um, how we move now because they are on a mission, they are hunting, and y'all are the hunted. So like the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to follow me on my website and on Twitter, Miss Marley K20. Um, try to enjoy your weekend and try not to get caught up into to you know, social media wars with people. The time you spend arguing with people is time you could have been preparing your house. And if you got your house in order, refresh your your uh, protection plans because it's gonna get real. Talk to you next time.